Yo, what's up everybody? You already know what time it is. It's your boy Zai. Today, we not only got one, we got two shoes to unbox. Yep, we got both of them. So we got the regular black ray guns and we got the white ray guns. Let me tell you how I got them. In order to get the black ray guns, you also had to do raffle and it was sneaker for the black ray guns. But for the white ray guns, you had to hit your local skate shop to see who had them. If they had them, then you would follow whatever procedure that they had. So if they had a raffle, they had a first come first serve, however, whatever, then you would go ahead and sign up. I had a raffle on both of these shoes and they both had the same size, size 10. Size 10 in the black, size 10 in the white. They both came out just flat, just a shoe flat. Both of them are $100 each, which means 100 plus 100 is $200. I live in California, my tax is 9.5%, so it adds on an additional $19, which a grand total for both the shoes plus my California tax will be $219. All right, time for the unboxing. We're gonna start with the black ones first. The SB come in these teal, white, black box. As we open up the shoes, we're greeted with our regular shoe paper. Peel back the paper, and bam. Okay, so taking them out the box, they don't look bad at all. I would personally prefer the regular SBs just because I think the color foundation, just the solid color looks better, but the tie-dye version actually don't look bad. They actually look kind of nice. Okay, so we're gonna take a close detailed look at the black tie-dye Raglan SB. The materials that was used on this shoe is pebble leather. I'll let you guys get a closer look. Black toe box, a black front, tie-dye orange and white middle, black check, tie-dye white and yellow heel counter. Moving on to the back, we still have some more yellow and white tie-dye. Moving up above, we have black, and the heel tab is orange and white tie-dye. Moving on to the other side of the shoe, it's the same design, but we have a little ray gun man right here. We have white shoelaces, a black tongue, traditional puffy tongue. Up close on the tongue's tag, we have Nike SB with little writing on the bottom right here where my finger's pointing at, it says Ray Gun. We have a black midsole, white bottom. If we look inside the shoe, it's white and orange tie-dye with Nike SB Zoom Air. Now that was the black one. Let's go ahead and take a look at the white one now. So the white one isn't no difference between the black one. The only thing is where there's black, there's gonna be white. This right here is the white ray gun. I'm gonna put the black ray guns down now. Um, looking at the white ray guns, I'd rather prefer the black ones over the white ones. Not saying that the white ones are bad, but the black is just a little bit more appealing to the eye rather than white. But white is not bad, I'll rock the white ones. Let's take a little bit more detailed look at the white ray guns versus the black ray guns. Same whole initial design though. Instead of having a black front, a black toe box, white midsole, and a white back, it's just white. And if you look very closely, it's white tie-dye, so there's just a little bit of touch of black in it, like very, very faint. I'll let you guys get a closer look at that. It's kind of hard to pick up on camera, but if you look really, really closely, there's very, 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 very slight faint of black in the toe box. Other than that, I'll show you guys around the shoe. On this version of the white SB, the black SBs had a white bottom. This bottom on the white pair is black. The shoestrings on the white pair is also black. The tongue on the white pair is also white. The inside of this SB is slightly different. The other SB had white and orange tie-dye. Inside on the white pair, SB ray gun is tie-dyed white and yellow. All right, time for an up close look of the white SB and the black SB together. Now in my left hand is the white ray gun. In my right hand is the black ray gun. I'm gonna be giving you guys an up close look of both. All right, so here's both of the front of the SBs. Here's the side of the SBs. Here's the back of both SBs. Here's the bottom of both SBs. Here's the top of both SBs. Time for a review by yours truly. All right, so if I were to give the black SB tie-dyes a rating, I'd probably give these an 8.5. If I were to rate the white SBs one out of 10, I give them an eight. Let's start with the white SB. The reason why I would give them an eight is because I just personally like the black just a little bit better. Like I said before, the white is not bad, but it's just not so appealing to me as the black pair. I still rock them though, but the tie dye is not bad. The tie dye looks good. The overall quality of the shoe looks good. It's soft. Those are good materials to use on a shoe. It doesn't look like trash. The stitching and everything on the shoe looks nice. They did a good job. Now, if you look at the black pair, the black pair is just a little bit more appealing to me. One thing that I would change though, is instead of the white bottoms, I would have put a black bottom. So that way the whole shoe can kind of like match, you feel me? But the same thing that I said about the white pair, I also agree with the black pair. The leather, the materials that they use, the design, 
everything all that's cool all right y'all if y'all like this review go ahead and give it a thumbs up if y'all got any questions on the sbs i'll be sure and happy to answer for you just comment down below and if you really love this channel you love what i'm doing you really love both sbs you smash that subscribe button anyway though it's been your boy's eye i'll see y'all later peace